Hey guys, what's up? Zach here, RZ Tutorials, and today I'm back with a video. So yay or maybe boo, because I have not uploaded in a long time. And I'm really sorry about that, I really truly do apologize. I've just been really busy with stuff and had some issues, technical stuff, all the works. Uh, no more excuses though, if you really want to see them all, they're up on the screen now. There you go. Moving on, we're going to turn a new leaf now. And we're going to get back on the tutorial scene, as well as the review scene, all that kind of stuff. And today we're going to start off with a computer build series. Now as some of you know that follow me on Twitter, um, at ctutorials for those of you that don't follow me. I'm going to build a custom PC. Now I planned on having all the parts bought by now, but it didn't go down like that. I ran into some financial stuff, all that jazz. And it just turns out I'm just going to have to get the parts a bit slower than I thought. But I will be doing the series and I'll update you guys, do unboxings, all that kind of stuff. And go through the whole building process. So let's start off with the one thing that will hold all your parts. That is the case. Now I went with the Cooler Master HAF912. Simply because it is a cheap case, number one. But it's not low quality. It's got plenty airflow, uh, good spacious inside. So you should have no problems fitting any graphics card or anything like that inside there. Now I must give a quick shout out to Duncan33303 and The Hostler Zero for recommending this case. I'll put their links in the description. You should know who Duncan is anyway, or Austin. And you probably don't know who Hostler is, but his links in the description as well. Check them out. Now for price, I used what I think to be the cheapest and best way to buy the parts, which would be eBay for British people and Irish people and Newegg for American users. As you can see, it's only 65 euros or 55 sterling or 60 dollars. So it's a nice, good, cheap case and that will do us just fine. I'm going for a pretty solid motherboard here. It's got good reviews online and I think I like it. It's the MSI P67A B3 version motherboard. It's about 125 euro on eBay and it's a good price for a good motherboard. Um, it'll work nicely with our Intel Core i7, our graphics card and our RAM should all run perfectly on it. So that's the MSI P67A. Good motherboard, good price, can't go wrong. Now for my CPU, I went for an Intel option over an AMD. I went for the i7-2600K, the unlocked version so I can overclock to my heart's content. Now the reason I went for Intel over AMD is because the i7 is a very powerful card. It has four cores and it can hyper-thread to eight cores. So most programs will see it as eight cores instead of four. Now I know some AMD chips do have six cores, but they don't perform as powerful as the four core itself. So that's why we're going for Intel. It's clocked at, I think, 3.4 gigahertz and we'll be overclocking to something like four and that'll be in the videos later on also. Now because I will be overclocking, I'm not gonna use the included fan that comes with the Intel Core i7 chip. I'm going to use the Cooler Master Hyper 212 because it's only 35 euro on eBay. I might as well get it. It's I don't want to mess with all the water cooling and things like that, but this will do just fine and it'll keep my um, i7 at a cool temperature, so it's a win-win situation. On to the GPU, and I went with the Asus GTX 460, the one gigabyte version. It's a pretty powerful card, and it's able to play pretty much any game at very high resolutions. Obviously it's not for that extreme gamer, but it's good enough for me and it's gonna be good enough for most of you guys out there. So it's pretty cheap, it's 162 euro. Um, it's good enough value and we're gonna go with that card. For the RAM, I'm going with the Sniper series. It's really nice memory, it's eight gigs. I don't need any more than eight gigs as of now. I might upgrade to 16 gigs at a later stage. But as of now, it's pretty good for only 100 euro. I'm happy with that. For storage, I will not be using an SSD. I probably will buy one at a later stage. Again, I'm going to be saying that a lot, but for now, two one terabyte Seagate Barracuda drives will be perfect. They're cheap as well. They're only 55 euro on eBay, and it'll do me fine. I need the gig for video storage and all that kind of stuff. So two one gigabytes, one terabyte, sorry should be just fine. For the power supply, I'm going with the Corsair HX750. It's a 750 watt power supply from the folks over at Corsair. And the reason I'm going with this is because it's a good brand. You really don't want to skip out on the power supply because it's what's going to power everything on your computer. So going with a good reputable brand, not a bad price either, 150 euro. So we're saving a bit of money by not going up to a thousand watt because we don't actually need it. 
know if you are going to have a bigger graphics card maybe sli or crossfire you might need maybe an 850 watt up to a thousand watt but 750 we should want run, run this system perfectly at full potential as an os i will be using windows 7 home premium i could use linux but then i wouldn't have sony vegas and all that kind of stuff that i do use and i have used linux, linux in the past and it is a good operating system it just doesn't have all the features of like sony vegas camtasia studio all that kind of stuff that i need for what i do now i could do a hackintosh as well but really there's no point there's a lot of trouble with it things like that if you want to if you want to run a mac os then buy a mac it's as simple as that um but windows 7 home premium should be fine now i know you can torrent it and it's possible it's very possible actually but really for if you buy it on ebay it's very cheap 99 euro and you do get updates with the service packages and all that kind of stuff so in my opinion it is worth to buy it and for all the updates you get it is worth it in my opinion when you're spending this much money on a new computer you might as well have good screens so that's why i'm buying two monitors two 21 and a half inch dell monitors and they'll do lovely in my room for my desk so obviously you don't need to buy this this is just for me but it's a good enough price it's not too bad 150 euro so in total this build will run me just over 1000 euro if you are in the uk it'll be just under a thousand pound and in the us it's over 1100 dollars just over that so it's a nice price for a good good build pc it should be good for editing a bit of gaming things like that all around a good pc so I'm going to get building this, I'm going to update you guys with videos on that. There will be more videos, tutorials will be probably a tutorial Tuesday in there somewhere and reviews of each part as they come in and unboxings, all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned to Z Tutorials for more and thank you all for watching.